Captain Brian Boley, and I'm the Formation Europe Chaplain for Northern Europe. I'm really glad that you're able to join me today. Today's topic is transcendence, gaining perspective by connecting with experiences beyond the self. It's a very weighty topic, and I'm going to try and bring it down to earth a little bit, and we'll see how we go from there. So the word transcendence comes from the Latin prefix trans, meaning beyond, and the word scandre, which means to climb. Although many people view transcendence in different ways, mostly based upon their own values, the general idea behind it is the same. Transcendence is at its core about transcending or rising above the self and relating to that which is greater than the self. Kind of in simpler terms, it's the realization that we are one small part of a greater whole and therefore act accordingly. That which is greater uh, than the self can be a range of things. It could be human beings as a collective. Um, it could be nature, the universe, perhaps a divine power. It depends on you. The point is it really doesn't matter what the greater thing is, only that it's something bigger, greater, and beyond ourselves. So when we achieve transcendence, we have gone beyond the ordinary limitation. Think about uh, team sports, for example, or a group project or maneuvers or field exercises, something that's done in a kind of team environment with others. Um, we're able to accomplish so much more together than we could as an individual. You know, there's a reason why, you know, there's nine players in baseball. There's a reason why there's only so many people on the ice in a hockey game. And that is to harness the energy because we know, for example, using a hockey metaphor for a second, that a shootout is, you know, you think it could be easy, but it's not because it's just one on one as opposed to five on one, for example. So, um, you know, um, these kind of things transcend or go beyond one's own self. And, and, and these are the kind of things we're looking at. Now, I'm sure you've heard at some point about um, Abraham Maslow and Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, this basically, um, make it really kind of um, um, short here, um, his theory simply was is that we have some basic needs that need to be looked after before we can look after ourselves. And what he meant by that is that we have psychological needs, and when those are looked after, we have safety needs, right? Physical safety needs. And when those are looked after, we can then become open to love and belongingness. And when those things are satisfied in life, we can, according to his terminology, find what's called self-actualization, to be the person we really can become and be. And it's only then when we achieve that, that we can find transcendence or have what he referred to as peak experiences, right? Transcendence is not something you can stay at. Very few people ever have, um, you know, different traditions have recorded that, uh, but not all of us are a Mother Teresa or a Jesus or a Muhammad or, or a Gandhi or, or any of those kind of individuals. Rather, we can have these peak experiences where we get a glimpse at that beyond ourselves. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint examples of transcendence, but there are four characteristics that ensure that when we know it, we will see it. Let me tell you what I mean. There is a shift in the focus from the self to the others. This shift from selfness to considerations of the needs of other people is a primary thing. You can see this in people who volunteer, for example, or care for those in need. There's also a shift in values. Right? Those that have achieved self-transcendence no longer find themselves driven by outside motivations or external rewards and demands, but rather the reward for a particular activity is that activity itself. It's doing what you do because that's the reward. 
Also, there's an increase in moral concern, simply doing what's right because it's right to do, calling out what's unjust. And the last kind of key thing to know about transcendence, and if one is in that moment, is an elevation of higher emotions. And what I mean here is the kind of sense of having awe and ecstasy, amazement, being uplifted and feeling elevated. So these are kind of a couple of key things, um, attributes, uh, characteristics, if you will, uh, that you can be aware of. Now, I have many different kinds of things, right? Uh, where those moments have happened. Um, could be at the birth of a child. It could be while walking in the forest, hiking, uh, camping happens a lot. Um, I love to canoe. Um, that's something that I get those peak experience moments where I'm beyond myself. Listening to some great music, for example. I mean, that's uh, another one for me. So here's a couple of things that we can do to prepare, propel, pardon me, ourselves and reach a, a sense of transcendence. Okay. So one of them, practice meditation. Look, I'm not talking necessarily, although it will work for some people, about sitting on a cushion with your legs crossed. That does work for people. But I'm also talking about mindful activities here. Mindful listening, mindful walking, mindful eating, for example. What I mean by mindful is that it's very purpose-driven. So, for example, every once in a while, I get a little bit overwhelmed. I need to put on my earphones and I need to, and I mean need, to listen to Pink Floyd um, um, and just kind of just zone out, right? Wishing you were here, great album, and just zone out. And this kind of gives me a sort of outside myself experience. It's great soundtrack and great soundscape. Um, make time for creativity. Creativity allows for inspiration, for new experiences, and ultimately leads to self-transcendence. Pick up a hobby. Um, learn something new. Learn how to play the guitar if you don't know how to play the guitar. I don't know. Uh, make some jewelry. Um, plant a garden. Be creative. Right? Keep a journal, even if you're not a strong writer. Maybe, especially if you're not a strong writer, put your thoughts and feelings onto paper. It's a way of separating yourself from them and then engaging with them in a different sort of perspective. Just a thought. And get out of the house and go where you feel closest to nature. Allow yourself to commune with nature, finding inspiration, healing, perhaps a sense of transcendence through nature. This one's a little tougher, but we also need to engage in shadow work. What I mean there is to make time to reflect and dive into your deepest, darkest parts. It's important to know you. It's important to accept you, me, us, as we are. So it's just something to consider as well. We all have sort of, eh, you know, the stuff that we push away on the side. Engage with it. Come to peace with it. And practice excellence in whatever you do and wherever you go and whoever you're with in your day-to-day -day life. It doesn't really matter what it is as long as it's not harmful to anyone. All that matters is that you're doing what you do well. These things coming together will allow us to experience peak moments more often. It'll allow us to transcend, to move from ourselves and experience that which is greater in this world. Transcendence may sound lofty, but I assure you it's right in front of each and every one of us, and it's there for the taking. Reach out. Reach beyond the self. Make meaning and find your purpose. Thanks for joining me tonight.